If you learned Star Wars Squadrons and began flying around in the opening sequence of the game, you probably realize that something is off. The FPS overlay must have been showing 100 and plus FPS, but the game felt sluggish. Well, we had the same feeling as well, and we checked the in-game settings and everything was fine. We turned off the HDR, VSync was disabled, video settings were okay, as was the refresh rate, but for some reason, the game felt like it was capped at a 30Hz refresh rate. After a quick look at gaming forums, we saw that a large number of PC players are having the same issue. and There's a bug in there somewhere, and while EA have acknowledged the problem, we've tried to find a workaround of our own while we wait for the official patch. Now, there is a quote-unquote fix for this that we found, and although you'll still be playing at lower than 144 FPS, it's much better than the 30 FPS cap that we're having right now. So here's what you have to do to get that smooth 60 FPS gameplay. Go to Options, Video, set your native resolution, set your screen mode to full screen, and this is the most important part. The only refresh rate that is not broken at this time and gives the frame rates that it should is 59.94 Hz, at least in our case anyway, so just set it to that. And also know that our VSync is set to off as we have a G-Sync compatible monitor, but you should be good to go with VSync enabled as well. Try this out and play this gorgeous game in smooth 60 frames per second until the patch arrives. And that's it for this short guide on how to somewhat rectify the dreaded FPS issue. If you have any questions, of course, let us know down in the comment section below and we'll be happy to help. And please make sure to head over to Alker.com for much more content like this. And please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sobriel and see you in the next video.